five days. The first day, I was joking around. Any, anyone follow professional wrestling? I said I felt like Ric Flair, and Ric Flair became the president of WCW. He was dancing around, and he was excited. And he said, Woo, I'm president of WCW now. And then he turned to someone and says, all right, what do I do? There was nothing on my desk. I was snooping around looking at other employees to see what they were doing. They said, why are you working on that? Why isn't that on my desk? And I got a little bored, frankly, on the first day. By day two, there was a stack of paperwork on my desk. And day two was 11 hours. So it's a complete change of pace from the state house. I've, I've quantified it this way. A three hour day at the state house goes slower than an 11 hour day at town hall. It's completely different. At town hall, we actually have to do some work. Steve, you should go into the executive room sometime. Although I'm sure the pace is a little different in puns. But, I'm very excited, I'm looking forward maybe to sitting down with the newspapers, and I think they do kind of a 100 day, first 100 days story. Um, but if the first 100 days goes as well as the first five days, I think we're gonna have a lot to report. We've made a lot of progress just in the first five days. Um, Councilor Lacey has sat in with us on some meetings, and I think we're really close for some positive news to come out of Weymouth Landing. Uh, we had very productive meetings with LSTAR, and uh, some of their folks are here, and we appreciate the working relationship that we have with the folks who are developing the airbase. They have some great news uh, that they're on the cusp of announcing, but also they have assisted us in looking to accelerate some of their payment schedule to the town so we can get to some projects quicker than it's called for in the agreement. They've been very cooperative. We have some folks here tonight, I think, from um, Fox Rock Properties. There's a project that was started under Mayor Kay on Libby Parkway. We're very excited about that, about 250,000 square feet of new commercial development here in Weymouth. They're a great corporate uh, partner in this effort, and they're gonna be providing some benefit to the community. So there's a lot of stuff happening right out of the gate that we're excited about, and we'll have a lot of news to report, I think, pretty soon and imminently on a lot of those fronts. So the personnel stuff's going good. And I think it'll be an exciting time for the time, for the town, excuse me. And uh, it's been an exciting time for me thus far. So I appreciate all the support that not only you gave me, but you've been giving the town of Weymouth. These, there's a lot of people here I know that have volunteered their time through the years. Oh, by the way, we have a lot of boards in position, vacancies that we're gonna need to fill. If anyone wants to, um, that hasn't been involved in town, Affairs. We'd love to get you involved. If you have a certain expertise, please um, please look us up. The folks that are here from out of town, I'm sorry to be saying goodbye to you from some of the other towns I represent. I thought I would I miss you thus far. I haven't, but maybe I will later. But I appreciate the friendship we've made over the years, and um, it's an exciting, again, an exciting time. Just a shout out, there's a couple of people I know um, that couldn't be here tonight that have been uh, stricken with illness. Stephanie's mom, Ann, uh, ironically was just down the hall from my mother at Spalding Rehab. Uh, my mother's now in Hingham, uh, in rehab there. Physical rehab, I should say. My mother doesn't drink. And uh, it, I thought so with them. So my sister is here representing my family, and that's about it on the family side, but you all feel like family tonight, so thank you for joining us tonight with me. Joe Mack is going to spin some tunes. Give him